Oh my gosh. So this video has brought a brand new feature in Google Classroom. They have added the ability, and I haven't even played with this yet. So this is the first time I'm seeing it, the first time maybe you're seeing it. They've added the ability to add a notebook LM based on your content or a Gemini gem to your Google Classroom. As far as I know right now, if the service, if Notebook LM or Gemini are not turned on for the students, then they can't access this. We have Notebook LM turned on for 7 through 12, and we have Gemini turned on for 9 through 12. So I'm going to send this video to 7 through 12 teachers. Um, but I'm so, so excited about this. I'm going to start with Notebook because it applies to more people. But when I click create a notebook based on my content, I can create a new one or I can select an existing one. These are all my different notebooks. I'm going to create a new one because what I want to do is create a new one based on this topic. These are all the things, all the materials that are underneath this topic. So if you're doing a unit topic, if you're doing your topics by unit or even by week, you could create a notebook LM for that particular topic. And then I'm going to click create notebook. And it's attaching a notebook. It's creating a notebook with all of those resources. It's loading them all. I can, from here, create an audio an overview, a video overview, a mind map, a report, a flashcard and quizzes, all on the side here. as when it's done. Um, I can modify the conversational style. So I'm going to choose learning guide or I can choose custom and tell it um, students in seventh grade are just learning about this topic. Come on, it's glitching. And I'm going to choose a shorter length. Okay, it's that glitch. I think it's because it's still loading all the resources. Okay. Once I share this with the kids, uh, they'll be able to not edit any of the sources or take them out or anything like that, um, but they'll be able to chat. They'll be able to watch the video overview. They'll be able to listen to the audio, to see the mind map, to use the flashcards, to use the quiz feature. Um, but I do want to address something before I move on. This happens to me a lot. Um, some websites do not allow... Uh, external websites to read them. So if you see this, this it says the source is empty. It's like the programming behind it is not being able to be read. So I'm just going to remove that. Not a big deal. It does contain all of my other sources. It's still attached here. So um, I need to name this Science 7 Unit 1 Pretending. I'm going to I'm going to add all of these things. Not right now. It's going to take a long time. Like the video overview takes a long time. The audio overview takes a long time. But I can add the flashcards. And I can edit. Um, I want fewer and I want them to be easy. And then for the quiz, I can edit fewer questions and I want them to be easy. I'm generating them on the side. And it looks like you can generate more than one flashcard. So you can generate a hard one and an easy one. You can generate a hard quiz and an easy one. I'm going to generate a mind map. And, you know, I can keep going with this uh, as it stands here. I don't have to go, like, wait for that stuff to be done to assign it to my students. I'm going to highlight it at the top of my class. This is so fun. And... I can give it a topic, but I'm not going to right now. And then I'm going to post it. And it will show up underneath learning tools. This is crazy. At the top. And they can open it. I will see how many students opened it. Um, and I can go back here. I can also see the analytics here. There's not, um, not more than four people have used it yet. But if I go to share, it's already shared with that classroom. Only the teachers of the class are editors and the rest of the class are viewers. I can add a welcome note. Um, I want to give them chat only, actually, so I'm going to change that and save that. Um, and I think those are the only other settings that you really can change. 
Um, but this is great. This is just crazy. A I can add a study guide. Um, I can describe what the study guide will be and do and generate that and it'll pop up over here in the studio. Like this is just nuts. Uh, what you can do with, with Notebook LM. Um, that's like one of my favorite tools right now. I actually created one for EdTech and I've been loading all of my resources in it, either ones that I found helpful or ones that I've created myself so that teachers can chat with this, whether it is I want it. Uh, I don't remember how to cast or um, give me some project based learning tools. This one in particular, what can I use to create lessons that engage students? So using um, tools like Gemini and Notebook LM, leveraging project based learning tools. Um, so this is just insane. I'm loving it. I can't I cannot believe this is even here. If you are a ninth through 12th grade teacher and you would rather use a Google, uh, Gemini Gem, you can do that too. And a same thing, you can select an existing one or you can create a new one. You can get started with a template and then you choose which sources. You can select them all. You can select some of them. I mean, come on, this is nuts. This is nuts. And then click create. There are differences between GEMS and Notebook LM. They're very similar in the fact that they are using a knowledge base. Um, and here, this is what a GEM looks like in Gemini. You would give it a title, a description, um, give the chatbot instructions like who to be and how to act and how to respond. And then you would add your knowledge base. The things that you can add are files. Um, so you can't add YouTube videos, you can't add website links like you can in, in Notebook LM. And it's basically just a chatbot, whereas Notebook LM has all of these other features. Um, so this is a more simplified version of it, I would say. But again, it's working based on the knowledge base that you give it, which I really like. So I'm going to call this Unit 1 Gem update okay it, that will change but i'm gonna have to go people are gonna think i'm i don't know what i'm doing um <laughs> people are gonna like in the class that are in the classroom like oh what are these resources but they won't make any sense because i'm just practicing but these are so cool so this is what uh, a gem looks like i'm gonna go ahead and go to my gems on the left hand side. These are the ones that I've created. I know that these are the, but this is what a Gemini chat looks like. The Pro will does take a little bit longer. You can change it to the Flash. I have it on the Pro usually, but change it to Flash and it won't go so long. Um, I'm not going to dive too deep into Gemini, but it's just more simple, I think, as far as the chatbot goes, whereas this is more integrated, has many more things involved. Um, and now they're integrated right into Google Classroom. I'm so excited. And that's it.